it's Kendra. Today I'm here finally to do the nursery tour for you guys. So our twin girls were born December 16th and now I can finally do their room tour for you guys. I wanted to wait because we were waiting to say their names and their names are hanging above their crib so I kind of wanted to wait till they were born. So today I'm going to show you an overview of their room and then I'll go in and do close-up shots tell you all the details of everything, where everything is from, so you guys can get some inspiration. I know a lot of you guys are pregnant yourselves, so if you are especially pregnant with girls, with a girl or even twin girls, then hopefully this will give you some ideas. So super excited to share this with you. I hope you guys all enjoy it and let's get started. All right, I'll give you guys an overview of the room. We'll start over on this side. So we have our changing station. Currently we have our changing pad in our, ba in our uh, bedroom just for convenience, but eventually we'll move it in back into here. So uh, also in our bedroom we have a little diaper pail, the Ubi diaper pail. So I'll link that down below for you guys if you're interested in that. So that, um, I'll get into details of everything after I kind of show you around the room first. And then over here is the window. Here is the light fixture. And then we have our chair with the side table. And then moving over to the other wall is where the cribs are. So here are their cute little name signs. Here are their cribs, which they aren't sleeping in yet, but eventually they will. And then here is our closet. I have a full video on the closet, so I will link that video down below for you guys if you are interested in all the details. But there is the closet. And then up there, there's just kind of like a nook. So we just have a little chest up there, but I think eventually we want to put like stuffed animals or something cute there. So that is, and then this takes you all the way back around. So. I'll now get into all the details of everything. Here in the middle we have a little kind of gallery wall of a couple different prints. So this one in the middle is actually made by a friend of mine. She saw a picture I posted on Instagram and recreated it. So, so cute. I love the, she did like a watercolor in the background, kind of like a blush and peach shade. So, so pretty. And then I love the rustic frame. It kind of makes everything in here not so like frou-frou, I don't know, it adds a little bit of a rustic element. So love this. These two prints on opposite sides are both from Minted. This one is a little butterfly print in purple and pink, and it has the herringbone frame around both of them. And then this one is like a little fairy, fairy girl, it's super cute, and with a little bit of like a rainbow floral detailing. So I thought these were just pretty, and they just kind of tie in all the colors together. So this one, obviously, I can't link for you guys down below, but these two, I will put direct links um, to both of those prints in the info section. And then this chest is from Z Gallery. It's not specifically for a changing table, but I decided to use it as one, just because they can use this like as they grow up, and it's just super pretty. And it was actually less expensive than changing tables like uh, other places I saw. So we have diapers in here. Usually I have this full, but right now I'm just kind of grabbing them as we go. And we changed them right now, like in the living room and also in our bedroom. We haven't really used their room for that. Down in this middle drawer, I have a bunch of swaddles, um, blankets, swaddle blankets, and like sleep kind of sacks, that sort of thing. And then in the bottom drawer, I just have change of sheets for their crib, kind of just like random stuff. And then I usually keep all their burp cloths in here, all like the cloth diapers down in the bottom. And then this changing pad cover is from Oilo Studios. It's super cute, this light blush pink color, and I love the texture of the fabric. It's a very like durable fabric. And then this top part Velcros off. And then what I like to do is use these di these um, cloth diapers as like an extra layer whenever I'm changing their diapers, just for some extra protection. So yeah, this is just a really like perfect kind of muted pink shade. Love that. So over here we have their rocker. This is from Joss in Maine. It's this really nice soft gray fabric. Let me sit down in it for you guys. Ah, oh, it feels so nice. I actually haven't really used it yet because we've been in our bedroom. This is this blanket from Bull and Branch. I love their baby blankets. They're so cute. I have some cable knit throws over here, which I'll show you in a sec. But um, 
this rocker just fits really perfectly here because this room's super tiny and I wanted a rocker, but I wanted something that fits. So luckily I found one that works and I love the light gray color that it's in. So moving up to the window, the treatment that I decided to use is this kind of textured linen um, curtain from Minted. They have three different color options. This one is the purple and I love it because it has purple, green, and pink. So it adds a little bit of other color in here besides a ton of pink, you know what I mean? Um, so the curtain rod is from Walmart, just like a basic cream colored rod. And then um, these, there's a ton of different fabrics that you can choose from. Whoops. I chose the, uh, oh, that's just fell. It's like a linen, it's a textured linen. So it's a little bit more um, heavy duty than some of the other ones. You can do like a thinner fabric, but I wanted something that was a little bit thicker if I want um, some more, if I want it to be a little bit darker in the room. So I just l like fell in love with these and they look so much better in person than they did online. Like it, I just can't get over it. I just, oh my gosh, I love them so much. And then over here we have this little side table. This is from Joss and Main. It's in kind of like a, an off-white color. And I love the detailing around the sides. I think it's so cute because you can store a bunch of stuff in there if you want to, which is very handy. This lamp is from Target. It's pretty old, like four years old, I want to say, along with the shade. Um, but they always have similar like, wooden ones like this. And then I had to set a couple little shoes. This little jar... Um, is from Marshalls along with this frame this is a gift and then down here I have an old pair of point shoes my cleanest pair that I could find some books and then a print that my friend made for me with their horse their sign on there which I think is just so cute so um, also when we when they're sleeping in here I'll move their sound machine onto this table um, we have that in our bedroom right now and then over here I have this sweet little dream catcher I got it from an Etsy shop I will put the specific one that I found it from in the info section it has a silver hoop and then really pretty ribbons and blush silver and lace I think it's so cute I was going to make one myself but I got too busy so I decided to just order one but I absolutely love how it came out and then on this opposite wall is where their cribs are. So, oh, and this little play thing is from Finn and Emma. So the cribs that we got are from Pottery Barn Kids, or Pottery Barn Baby. And I wanted some that have the spindles in the middle or on the side so they can see each other. So that's why I got these ones. They're just one of the more basic. I think it's the Emerson crib, and it's in the color Cloud which online looks white and it's definitely not white. It's kind of like a light gray, which is okay because, um, you know, we have other gray in here. So keep in mind that even though it looks white online, it's definitely not. The other color that they have is a darker gray. The skirt is from Restoration Baby and I wanted something that was kind of simple, basic, and it was so hard to find these. I don't know why, but these ones I like because they have kind of like the frilly bottom, but they have also like a light pink, if you can see that, trim, which honestly, I mean, now you can't even see it. It looked really cute online, but I don't really know if it's necessary now, but hey, they were cute. These are the other blankets I was talking about. They're the ones from Bowl and Branch. They're organic cotton and we use these every single day. They sleep in them. We wrap them in them all the time. They're amazing. So the crib sheets are from Oilo Studios, same as the changing pad cover, along with the pillows and then the little toys in here. I just put in here for a little decoration for you guys. Obviously they won't stay in here when they're sleeping, but the middle ones are from Cuddle and Kind the little unicorns from Carter's and I think those little um what do they call like little kind of blankets with stuffed animal on top are from I believe Bye Bye Baby. The cribs look so big now it's crazy like compared to their bodies it's pretty insane so up top we have their names which I love how these turned out so my friend who did the sign over here did these as well. I got the frames from Hobby Lobby and then I just gave her the dimensions and then she did the names. Sorry, the light's kind of glaring. So here's June Everly. This is her little bed. And then a subscriber of mine sent me this and it's so beautiful. I mean, look at that. I was not expecting this at all. 
when they're bigger, I will definitely be taking that down because they can reach it. But for now, it's adorable. And then here is Violet Noel's little sign. And then our rug is from Rugs USA. And I wanted something that could, you know, work with them as they get older. So I didn't want something super pink because we have a lot of pink going on. Um, also, the wall color is called My Sweetheart from Bear, if you guys were wondering. And then the chair rail, the Wayne's Cotting, is in Swiss Coffee from Bear. Um, so this rug is just in a nice, like, vintage gray color, kind of a washed oriental style. And I like it because the actual rug's really durable, so it's perfect for when they are playing on here. And it's the perfect size too. So it really worked out nicely. And our light fixture is from Overstock. It's like this really cute and simple design. It has a little bit of like floral emblems on there. So here's it on bright. Let me dim it so you can see it a little better. So that is their light. And then the last thing is their closet, which I did a whole video on. So I will put the link to that video down below if you guys want to see all the details of everything in the closet. The dresser that I have in there is from Joss and Maine and then we just switched out the knobs from some that I found at Hobby Lobby which are just some kind of mercury looking silver knobs that match their changing table. And then here is like you can see their clothes are in there. So uh, the hamper is also from Joss and Maine. Um, I got a lot of their toys from Amazon, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look. Those from jo our Dawson Maine, the rose gold baskets, the boxes are from Marshalls, the hangers are from Amazon. I'm trying to think of some other things I can list off for you guys really quick. Um, the baskets over here are both from Home Goods. Just some books in there, some stuffed animals. I believe that is it. Oh, and that little love sign I found at uh, uh, Michael's. But it was like the Christmas section, which is kind of strange. Oh, and look how cute this little thing is. I found at a little market, a little like vintage place. I love. So that is everything. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting for me to film this video. I know it took a while, but um, I wanted to wait till the girls till the girls are born. So that is our room. It's so precious and I love it. It's my favorite room of our whole house now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!